Welcome everybody, you're here. Um, I want to open up our time with just a word of prayer. I'm really excited about our speakers today. So let's um, spend some time. Oh, I also, hi, I'm Becca. <laughs> In case you don't know me, I pastor out at Quincy and also took some part-time work with Ingalls Creek Retreat Center, but I get to serve as your co-moderator for our presbytery. And I'm really excited. Um, the team we worked with for our Verge this year are pretty excited about the speakers we have and the spaces we have set. And so I'm going to open us with just an opening word of prayer, and then I'll turn it over to Jean. Please pray with me. God, we are so thankful for this morning, for the opportunity to worship together, that we can do this from our living rooms, from all corners of the country if we wanted to. And so we are so grateful for the ways that you move and invite us to see you at work. And so we thank you for this space. We pray that you would help us center our hearts and our minds that we would be really present to the offerings that are before us today, that we might fully engage in such ways that we find rest and renewal and then can share that joy um, around us. And so as we pursue what it means to truly cultivate joy through you, um, we pray for your spirit's guidance, for um, just your ability to help us center, help us to really um, make space right now to be with you. In your name we pray. Amen. And I'll invite Sean to lead us in worship this morning, who is such a gift to our presbytery. He's been leading Jazz Vespers. Um, I love these creative, innovative spaces where we get to explore. And so, Jean, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Becca. And uh, thank you, the presbytery, for having me um, here today and uh, share a little bit of um, the worship experience of Jazz Vespers with you guys. Um, I, I will start with, um, so unfortunately, I don't have the technical uh, capacities to offer a good sound uh, live, so I pre-recorded some elements of uh, today's worship uh, this week with a, a, a local singer called uh, Gail Pettis, and we recorded um, in her living room, and uh, uh, we're going to have some uh, part of the worship from from that session and also we're gonna start with two instrumentals uh, the first one is completely improvised and um, and uh, I thought it was a good idea to start our day with this and um, to try to center ourselves and uh, experience this um, raw material where um, I improvised with um, Jay Thomas and he was in the backyard. It was during COVID and it was, um, it was completely um, improvised. Nothing was planned. And, uh, and I, I think um, those moments are um, um, a way to be really aware and, and, uh, to open ourselves to the present and so that's yeah what i want us to experience together to open ourselves to the present and uh, what god might have to tell us today so i'm gonna share my screen right now Thank you. 
All right. I'm kind of getting cold. Yeah, oh yeah, sorry. A little bit, but let me let me free you. Um so, so uh, the um, the next um piece I'm I'm going to play for us this morning is uh another instrumental piece and then we'll have two um vocal pieces. Um the next one is an arrangement that I wrote on a great the art.
servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. The 
the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. To erase the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord hears them. Thank you, Lord, for supporting me to gather all together this morning um, from the whole state and, and Alaska, too. And uh, I pray that you open our hearts, our ears, to hear you speak uh, the word through Bo and, uh, and Randy later. And um, we're thankful that you gathered us and that you um, redeemed us as we try to serve you. Amen. Amen. I think I speak for everyone when I'm like, more, more. <laughs> um, I did also talk to Andrea the other day, so I feel like I have on relatively good authority that if you are interested in more with Jazz Vespers, they might be able to travel. <laughs> Is that, is that a true statement, John? I don't know. But um, if you are interested in more of his work and music, he has a band camp um, online. I don't know if, John, if you want to put a link in the chat at some point, but 
Um, wow. I'm so grateful for that opening worship. And I don't know if this is true for anyone else, but like the sunlight just started pouring through my window and it was like, everything was working together to really open us up for worship this morning. So thank you for opening us that way. 